Did you ever imagine yourself playing a, a hero in an epic space adventure like this? Well, yeah. I did. As a kid, I, I went in the backyard and started pretending to be Han Solo or Luke Skywalker immediately after I saw Star Wars. Uh, I spent my whole childhood imagining I was in an epic space adventure. I never fathomed I could actually be an adult working as an actor uh, on a movie about an epic space adventure. That's pretty cool. Uh, so what did you most enjoy about the role, about playing Peter Quill? For me, this was an opportunity to just really cut loose and and do my brand of of kind of comedy and and acting. I mean, this was this really just played to all my strengths and, and working with James Gunn was probably my favorite part, just him allowing me to just go for it. You know, I felt protected. It was nice. Well, and, and so just run with that for a second. What was it like working with James Gunn? What's he like as a director? How did he help you direct? James is a maniac. Um, James is a maniac. He has the type of hyper-focus over the course of several years that is required to pull off a feat like this movie. You know, this is the result of him being at the head of a team working very hard for several, several years. I mean, ahead a, a team of hundreds of the world's best artists all working together uh, to create his vision. This is his vision. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a part of it. I was happy to be a part of it. Working with him was like watching a master at work. Do you have traits in common with the character Quill? And if so, um, did they sort of help you to understand him and become him? Yeah, I mean, I definitely, I definitely based Peter Quill on who I was as a nine-year-old. I think that's who he was as a who he was as a nine-year-old is kind of who I was as a nine-year-old. I started there. I figured we liked all the same movies, uh, we liked all the same music. And, you know, it would make sense because I was born the same year as him. I was, you know, in 1988, I was also a nine-year-old. And so, you know, I just imagined what would have happened if someone, if my mom had died tragically and I got sucked off into space and got to create a persona and have a lot of fun racing around and, you know, being an adventurer, what would happen? And so that's really, though I have a lot of those similar traits. Right. What about the physical sets like Quill Ship, the Milano? Yeah. Um, did they help you? bring the character to life, sort of, or, or to, to you know, envision it? Yes, the physicality of the sets, the props, and the wardrobe all really informed me who this guy was. You know, putting on the jacket for the first time and walking with it, I was walking, I, I wasn't exactly sure what Peter Quill's walk would be. I, there's this book called Double Star that talks about uh, this spaceman walk and how they'd be kind of like foot weight forward on their feet because of the, gra the anti-gravity and how like they'd have to be ready for gravity to turn off or ready for the ship to get jolted at all times they're kind of ready and you can tell a spaceman by looking at his walk so I knew there was that element but I put that jacket on and it was about a 40 pound jacket when it's wet and I was just and that walk became the walk now all of a sudden I knew how Peter Quill walked because I put that jacket on and it told me how Peter Quill walked so what was it like being part of such a talented I mean, it's a great cast in this movie, right? Yeah. And it, did that? Did you learn something from that experience as an actor? Man, such great people. I absolutely learned so much from working with this incredibly talented cast. You, yeah, I definitely learned uh, about voice, uh, pace, energy, and clarity in speech. I think I learned a lot about how to speak properly as an actor. I think my voice is something that has definitely always been my, my one of my weak points as a as an actor. And so with this movie listening to Dave Bautista talk, you know, his his and Vin, listening to Vin Diesel's voice, I mean, that's a real he's a real tool, you know, with his voice. And so that was something that was important to me and I learned a lot how to how to do it through some trial and error on this movie, just how to use my voice. Well, when the movie releases, are you prepared to be a, a hero to thousands of kids? I mean, what will that mean to you? Yeah. Because that's probably going to happen, right? Yeah. I stole the jacket and some of the wardrobe so that if this movie comes out and does what everyone hopes it can, I can follow the example of someone, say, like a Russell Wilson, you know, and, like, go visit kids. Like a I would love to go. If, if it was a big enough movie to where it would mean something to a kid who's sick in a hospital for Peter Quill or Star-Lord to come visit him, I'll do that. I think that's awesome, man. That would be, that would give me real meaning for this movie. You know, right now it means high-profile, cool jobs coming up, a big, big press tour, and all the excitement of it all. 
but none of that really means anything. What means to what the coolest things would be that my son can one day see this, and that maybe I could go affect some kids in a positive way and be a good role model for them.